Okay, now I'm going to show you a double outside block, a double outside chop block, a double low block, and then a double low chop block. Alright, so for the first one, all we're doing, this is what I'm calling a double outside block, is you're just doing an outside block on both sides at the same time. So again, so if someone's trying to attack you, you know, on both sides of your head at the same time, or maybe you got two different attackers attacking you on each side of your head, you just come in, you block it like that. So now for real time for that, it's going to look like this. So that's that one's going to work. The next one, the double outside chop block, the difference is, once again, you're hitting with this part of your hand because you're chopping. So as you come in, again, with the same kind of attack, you're blocking it like this now. So instead of blocking here, you're blocking it there. All right, so the one more time slow. So you come in, and you're blocking them like that. All right, so now real time for that one is going to look like this. All right, the next one for the double low block, if you're doing, just like the name implies, you're just doing two low blocks at the same time, just like that. So they're going to try to, like, someone's trying to keep, you know, hit you on both sides of your leg at the same time, or again, two different opponents hitting you on opposite sides down low. That's where this block is going to come in. So be like around here would be ideal for this. Or you can lean if you want to go lower. But ideally, what I would do is if it was down here, you might want to just try to block with your leg. And if it's on your body, that's where this would be more ideal. Okay, so real time for that one is going to look like this. All right, the next one is going to be the double low chop block. So now before I showed you how you can do a low chop block like that. But also you can knock it off to the side too and attack. If it was coming out, you could just hit it off to the side versus just hitting it straight down like that. So for this example, we're not doing this. We're actually doing that one. So just keep that in mind. So do it again slowly. So you come in. You're not going to both away with a chop. All right, so real time for that one is going to look like this. All right, now I have my cameraman George come in to demonstrate these in real time. All right, so for the first two up high, you know, the outside block and the outside chop block, if he comes in, like an attack like this on me, I'm going to use those blocks to block this. So he's going to come in, first one, block like that. So now I'm hitting right around here. And the next one, he does that again, I'm blocking here. So you see I hit him on both sides with my hands instead of right around here. And then now if he does the same thing down low, if he comes in like this on me, that's where the other two are going to come in. So he's going to come in down low. That's the first one. And the second one, he comes in again like that. That's the second one. All right, thanks, George. All right, so that's your double outside block, your double outside chop block, your double uh, low block, and then double low chop block.